Now, a couple of years ago, painter and wrestling fan Peter Blake confessed that if there was anyone he'd like to be, it would be the mysterious masked wrestler Kendo Nagasaki, who's renowned for never speaking or removing his mask in public. Well, Peter's Witch became a theme of a documentary to be screened tonight. And here's the moment when the two men come face to face, when Peter is given permission to paint Kendo's portrait. Craig, am I out now? He's a break? Yeah. I'm Lloyd Ryan. Hello, Lloyd. Hello, Hello. Peter. Can I introduce you to Kendo Nagasaki? Kendo? I must just say that he won't shake hands and he won't speak to you at all. So you have to do this without any communication whatsoever. Okay, fine. And uh, Lawrence, Kendo's personal assistant. Hello, Lawrence. Hello. Well, well, the studio is at the top of the house, so if you just follow me. Right. This is the studio, this is where we're doing it. Um, <coughs> I'm more or less set it up. I'll sit here. Right. And if Kendo could sit there. Because right. I've, I've started. Do you want him sitting, do you? I prefer it sitting. There could yeah. be a slight problem there. Because as you can see, Kendo's wearing the ceremonial dress, and you can't sit down in that. Yeah, could, could we do it in just the, just the wrestling? Because could we take the visor off? Very dramatic and pretty scary. Joining us now are Kendo Nakasaki himself and his manager Lloyd Ryan and artist Peter Blake. Thank you very much for all coming in. Lloyd, I know I can't I get a word in. Uh, I'll get an answer from Mr. Um, Kendo. So why all the secrecy? He won't talk, he won't shake hands, he won't touch. Why is, why is all, all the secrecy? Why not? I mean, uh, he's never spoken. That is part of the attraction for me, actually, when I first uh, I mean, met it's him. nice for a manager not to have his client speaking to him. That's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Makes it easy Being told to what to do. He's never spoken. I mean, it's quite a, a, a thing, really, to go all those years in the wrestling world and never actually speak to anybody. You know, he doesn't actually speak to any opponents, any other wrestlers of any kind. It's incredible. Um, how did you get involved with Kendo? Um, well, as well as uh, managing Kendo, I'm actually a, a professional drummer, and that's how it came about. Many years ago, I went to see Kendo, very impressed. I mean hundreds of people watching him and I thought what a good idea to dedicate a theme to him. Um, at that time of course that had never ever happened. The wrestlers just used to walk into marching music or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I got together with a friend of mine and we came out with Kendo's theme. It so actually, you had a fanfare for him in a way? Well it was a, it was a proper pop record. He got played on the radio and he got, even got in the top hundred. Uh -huh. He did quite well and it just, it just went from there. Right now as you're a drummer but Kendo won't speak. Do you communicate through the drums? Do you play together? Uh, Kendo does play the drums, actually, yes. It, it does. It's not actually shown in the documentary, but uh, there was a sequence in the documentary was playing together. Right. Now, how would you describe Kendo as a wrestler? I think it's described, actually, in the, in the film. Mm -hmm. uh, Count Bartelli's on, on the film. He describes him better than anyone I've ever heard. A sort of a, a maniac, a very difficult man to, uh, to wrestle. And I mean, I don't forget, I've never been the other side of the ring. I've only been on this side of the ring, which I'm glad he to say. He said to hypnotise other wrestlers. Is this the case? He does have the power of hypnosis, yes. He can, can do that. And they describe his eyes as going very red. I must say it diff would be difficult to see. He needs to be in the ring, I think. That's what? The, he needs to be angry in the ring. He's quite I relaxed now. And, and yes, uh, I don't wish Hopefully. him to get any <laughs> angrier either, actually, because it's pretty Hopefully, scary. Yeah. Have you ever seen him without his mask? Uh, no, no. Um, it's his privacy. I don't, I, don't, I don't particularly care. So in general, is he easy to manage? Oh, very easy, yes. I mean, when you've got a winner, um, there's very little involved. We work with the promoters. Uh, he never loses. I've never known the man to lose. Now, Peter, can I ask you, you're fascinated by wrestling. Why the fascination? I've, I've been to wrestling um, since I was about 15. I first went in 1947 um, with my mother and my aunt. And I've been a fan ever since. What is it you like about it? Is the plain? Is it because the goodies and baddies are so separate? That's very much part of it. It's theatre. Mm -hmm. Is a good, a good man and a bad man usually. Mm -hmm. Incredibly colourful. I mean, I've seen most of the great wrestlers. 
Um, now, if you've said that if you could be anyone else, you'd want <coughs> to be Kendo, why? Well, the background to that is that the Sunday Times did a feature called The Chain of Life, where they asked a doctor what he would have been if he wasn't a doctor and he would have been a painter. Mm -hmm. And then they asked me what I would have been, thinking I would say something like a carpenter. Or, mm -hmm. And I thought, well, what would I really like to be? And I suddenly thought, well, I would love to be Kendo Nagasaki. So that's how it came about. Now, you've painted him, haven't you? And you've done a long series of wrestlers since the 50s, but mm. you've actually done a portrait of Kendo. Can we see it there? Yes, sure. And a very great... I can attest that it's a very great likeness. And, and actually more frightening than I think, in, in a way. I kept it very simple because I wanted it to be actual size and just the head. Right. So when you related the painting to the head, they were, they're remarkably the same. Why, why, the, why are you so fascinated by the mask? Well, I think the whole mythology of masked wrestling is something that's interested me. I mean, um, who, who, who's under the mask? Yes. And, uh, perhaps you and we're never likely to see it, are we here? No. Actually, we're never likely case. to know what the man is like. <coughs> so, Russell, can you help me here? Come on. Is there anything about uh, Kendo's sign that would tell us about the sort of man he is? Well, Kendo's a Libra born October the 19th, but we don't have a year. Um, Librans themselves are said to be the Roger Moore of the Zodiac, suave, debonair, and very... Um, uh, very <coughs> kind and amiable and gets on very well with people, great communicators. <laughs> great so, communicators? Yes. How, how do you communicate with each other, Lloyd? Um, very little. It's very, but it's all kept to a minimum, by letter. By letter all and by... Work. But he does have to sign contracts. Uh, I sign contracts. Oh, see, right. I think because Kendo's born on the cusp of Libra and Scorpio, you can see all the Scorpio things there, enigmatic, um, hypnotic, um, yeah. deep, Intense, um, very profound. I mean, all of and that. And in the is ring, he's got a sting in the tail, right. hasn't he? I mean, not half in that scabbard. <laughs> I mean, very much. I think there's lots of Scorpio, but I'd like, maybe you might be able to find out his year for me so I can look to see if there's any Scorpio planets there. Oh. Do you think that's a fair assessment of the Kendo that you know, the one that uh, Russell has given? The only Kendo I know is the, is, is the public one. And that's the, the Scorpio one. one. Yeah, yes. well. So the Libra one, he Ask may well dress like Can I just you ask you a big question? <laughs> Are we going to hear him speak in the documentary tonight? You'll have to watch the film tonight to see that. Probably oh, hear that. keep us on tenterhooks then. Well, thank you very much for coming in. Uh, and that's all we have time for this week on People Today. But join us again on Monday when we're off to the races to watch the horse that's clocked up the longest losing record in British history. And the Pasadena's make a comeback with their latest tribute to 70s soul music. Yeah. So it sounds as though it's going to be fun. <laughs> it is. Join us then. See you next Bye. week. Bye.